All right, well, it's seven o'clock, so we'll get started. Um, tonight, it would be good. We're gonna start standing. So hopefully you can hear me, Rick, and everything's good. So just come to the top of your mat and take a stance that feels comfortable. So might be, feet might be apart or they might be together. But let your arms rest by your side. We're just going to find just a, a natural standing position here. So get situated, really feel yourself planted in your feet, and then allow your hands to drop by your side, and then close your eyes. And so we're just standing here in a natural state, starting to sense into this moment. I'm just starting to notice how your body is feeling. Beginning to feel the mat against the bottom of your feet. In a sense that your feet could stay planted. They're rooted down into the earth. And you can imagine some roots growing down through your feet and into the center of the earth. And as you stand here feeling planted, start to notice your body in space. Are you leaning forward or maybe leaning too far back? See if you can find a center point across your middle of your heel and your big toe and little toe mount. And with your feet planted, slightly engage your quads to lift your kneecaps. And still feeling rooted here, slightly pull your belly in, very gently, press it in towards the spine. And then from here, notice if the crown of your head could lift up towards the ceiling just a little bit more. Maybe the back of your head moves back, maybe an inch. Maybe the shoulders start to roll away from the ears and your fingers start to reach down towards the earth. Your ribs are in, shoulders above the hips. And there's a super slight tuck of the chin couple millimeters. You're standing here, sensation of being firmly planted into the earth and the crown of the head reaching upward. And now begin to breathe a little bit more consciously, and deliberately inhaling deeply. Lifting the breath all the way up, up, up towards the crown of your head. And as you exhale, let the air travel down through the body, all the way through the feet and down in the roots, which are going down into the earth. And inhaling again, visualizing, taking energy from the earth all the way up the body through the crown of the head, starting to reach up towards the sky, sending the energy up and out. And as you exhale, pull that energy down through the universe, through the crown of your head, through the body, down through the feet and into the center of the earth. Continue inhaling, lifting the breath up through the earth, all the way up to the sky, up to the universe. And exhaling, bring the energy down from the universe through the body, through the feet, and into the roots. A couple more breaths. Just noticing the connection between earth and sky. Allowing the energy to travel through your body very freely. And 
And as you breathe, ask yourself what you would like from your yoga practice tonight. Deep inhale in. And exhale. Slowly open your eyes. And now feel the connection of the earth against your right foot as you lift your left knee up towards your chest. You can take your fingers and interlace them around your left shin. Noticing you'll have to really press down into the earth. Visualize those roots reaching to the earth, tethering you in place while your knees moving closer to your chest. And then from here, lift your arms to the sky. Start to open your left knee to the left and begin to make some big circles. Slowly using your belly to stabilize. So pull your belly in towards your spine, root through your feet. One more round, opposite direction. And then we'll keep the knee pointing forward. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Let's twist to the left. You can take your right hand outside this left knee and reach the left hand behind you. Inhale. And exhale, release. Go ahead and place the right foot on the earth, hands to heart. Root through your left foot. Reestablish that connection of the foot connected to the earth and the roots reaching down. And then lift your right knee up, taking your fingers, interlacing them around your right shin. Practice pulling your belly in and stabilizing. The roots into the earth are holding you in place. And now lift the arms to the sky. Open up your right knee to the right and make some large circles. Belly is in. Go as slow as you need. And then the opposite direction. And now we'll hold the right knee facing forward. Inhale, lift and make your spine really long. And then exhale, twist to your right. Maybe the right hand is outside that left knee as you inhale, lift, lengthen the spine and exhale, twist a little deeper. And then come on back to center. You can place your hands at heart, right foot to the earth. From here, take your right foot, cross it behind your left ankle. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. And as you exhale, side bend to your left. So really root through both feet. Again, those roots are holding you down. You're breathing into the right side of your body. Inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Hands can come to heart. Bring the feet back next to each other. Left ankle crosses behind right, so your pinky toes are facing each other. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale, breathing. Exhale, releasing. Come on back to center. Hands to heart, feet next to each other. Lift the right knee up. And as you exhale, bring that right foot, cross it behind so that you can inhale, lift the arms to the sky and bend both knees and dip down. And as you inhale, come back to center, return the right foot next to the left. Exhale, left foot crosses way behind, reach with the ball, the left foot, bend both knees, inhale, arms overhead, and palms back to center. One more time, right foot crossing behind, pressing through the ball, that right foot, bending both knees, dipping down, hands to heart, right foot, left foot crosses behind the right, bend both knees and dip down, arms overhead. Hands come back to center. From here, open your feet wide. Heels are in, toes are out. Bend both knees. Make any adjustments you need to make with your feet here. And we can start with a simple head roll. And move in the opposite direction. And then from here, you might start to move your body in a way that feels good. Keep your hips low and keep your knees open. Just bringing some movement in here. One more breath, one more round. And then inhale, arms overhead, hips are low. 
Start to press through the feet, turn your toes in, heels out, and forward fold. From here, bend the right knee, left leg is straight. Coming back to center, bend the left knee, right leg is straight, keeping the feet connected. One more time to the right, see how low you can keep your hips. And one more time to the left, low. From here, take your hands to your right foot, pivot the toes towards the top of the mat, drop the back knee, untuck your toes, low lunge. So if you have a blanket and you want to place it down, it's a good time. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. And as you exhale, lean the body halfway forward, let your arms reach behind. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, leaning the body, right hip back, belly in. One more time, inhale. And exhale. This time when you lift your arms up to the sky, open the arms up left and right, palms face the ceiling. Start to feel an opening through the chest, shoulder blades together. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the mat, straighten that right leg. Walk the right foot forward a couple of inches, toes towards the ceiling. Right hip is back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, lift, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, right foot to the mat. Take your hands inside your right foot, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, come back to the left side of your mat. Toes in, heels out, inhale, half lift. Belly in, exhale and fold, pressing through all four points of the feet. Inhale, another half lift. Walk your hands to your left foot. Toes are facing the back of the mat. Drop the back knee, untuck your toes. Low lunge, second side, arms reach high. Inhale and lift, press down to the top of the right foot. And exhale, hands swing behind you, really reach towards your right foot. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, hands reach behind, pull your belly in. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, fingers reach behind you. Inhale, reach arms high, and now exhale, open up. Expand through the chest, palms face the sky, heart lifts. Inhale, arms overhead, hands back to the mat. Straightening through that left leg, toes face the ceiling. Inhale here, and exhale, fold. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift. Left foot finds the mat. Hands inside that left foot. Walk back to the left side of your mat. Walk back to the top of your mat. Look forward and step forward. Feet together. Inhale, find a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Rooting through the feet once again, arms reach to the sky, and exhale, arms at your side. Sun salutation A, we'll inhale and lift arms high, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Hands to the mat, feet to the back of the mat, plank pose. Inhale here, and exhale, moving through your vinyasa, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale through baby cobra, press the tops of the feet down, lift the knees, lift the heart. Exhale into child's pose. Yeah, so child's pose, take a break here. Anytime you want, you can return to this pose to reconnect with your breath or just take a break. From here, let's lift the head, look at your hands, slide your body forward as you bring your elbows down to the mat. On the belly, inhale, low cobra, heart lifts, tops of the feet press, exhale, head to the mat, 
coming through your child's pose into down dog. Down dog, heels are down towards the earth, hips are lifted, fingers spread wide. Right leg lifted to the sky. Keep your hips side by side, toes pointing down, really press them out away. From here, let's open your hip to the right wall. So bend the right knee. Let your right foot find your left bum as your shoulders face the mat. Right knee is lifting higher to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, let the hips go side by side. Leg extends behind you. Inhale here. And exhale, shift forward to plank. Bring your knee towards your nose. Come high up on the ball of the left foot. Inhale, extend the right leg. Open the hip. Bend the right knee. And exhale, hips side by side. Another inhale. Exhale, shift forward to plank. Knee towards your nose. Inhale, extend the right leg. Open the hip one more time. And exhale, hips side by side, right leg extends behind you. Inhale, and exhale, this time step the right foot forward. Starting in a runner's lunge, find your feet. So we're coming to high lunge, so your feet wanna have a little space between them. When you've got your footing in your right foot and in your left, inhale, arms up to the sky. Reaching high, back leg nice and strong, sink down. Inhale here, exhale, swing your hands behind you, lean your body halfway forward. Inhale, arms overhead, and exhale. One more time, inhale, arms overhead, and exhale. Inhale, arms reach back to the sky. Hands to heart, hands to the mat. Look forward, step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise up all the way. Reach to the sky and exhale, arms at your side. Other side, inhale, arms lift, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, belly in. Hands to the mat, step to the back of the mat, plank pose. Inhale here. And if you feel like chaturanga and up dog is right for you tonight, go ahead. Do whatever you need to do in your vinyasa to make it your own. Just move with the breath very fluidly. Meeting up and down dog. Connecting with the breath here, lifting the tailbone to the sky, belly is being pulled in. From here, let's inhale that left leg to the sky, hips side by side. Keeping your shoulders facing the mat, open your hips to the left wall. Bend the left knee. Left foot is reaching towards your right bum. Arms are nice and long, pressing them out away. Inhale here. Exhale, extend the left leg directly behind you. Inhale. And exhale, knee towards your nose. Pull your belly in and round your back. Arms nice and long. Inhale, extend the left leg. Open the hip, bend the left knee. Inhale, extend that left leg. And exhale, shift forward to plank, knee towards your nose. Inhale and extend the left leg. Open the hip to the left, lift that left knee. And return the legs side by side, taking an inhale. And exhale, step the left foot between your hands, runner's lunge. So again, foot placement, you want a little distance between the feet, back leg nice and strong. Really rooting through that left foot. When you're ready, inhale, arms overhead. Inhale here. 
and exhale, leaning the body halfway forward, really reach fingers towards your right foot. Inhale, arms overhead, and exhale, fingers reaching behind you, strong right leg. Inhale, arms overhead, and exhale, hands reach behind. Arms lift to the sky, hands to the heart, hands to the mat, look forward and step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach to the sky. And exhale, arms at your side. Bring your feet together. Leave a little space between your heels as you come into chair pose. Sink the hips back and down, lift the arms high. Keep your spine tall. So if you're leaning forward, Work to lift the spine and send the weight back into the heels. Arms reaching by the sides of your ears. Inhale here. Exhale and fold. Inhale into a half lift. From here, lift that left foot and step it about midway down your mat. So we're setting up for pyramid pose. Let your toes face the top of the mat. And make sure you're not on a tight rope here. You want a little space between the feet widthwise. Straighten through the right leg. Inhale, find a half lift. If you have blocks at home or block substitutes, this is a good time to use them. Find a half lift so the back is flat and belly is in. And then exhale and fold. Take the gaze to your shin. Again, inhale, a half lift. Exhale, fold, squeezing the inner thighs towards each other. Inhale into a half lift. Exhale and fold. Half lift one more time. Let your hands come forward a few inches as you shift the weight into the right foot and lift that left leg up to the sky. Let your head hang down, look behind you, standing split. Really reach up through that left foot. Feel the roots from that right foot going down into the earth, really holding you in place. Belly is lifting towards the spine. And as your head dangles here, you can take your hands closer to your right foot and hold on to the ankle with one or both hands or just stay where you are. Keep the hips side by side if you can. Let the head hang, one more breath. And then release the ankle. From here, a half lift. Left foot steps to the very back of your mat. Arms reach to the sky. Warrior two. Settle in here. Toes facing forward, front knee over your ankle. Back toes slightly turned in or pointing to the left side of your mat. Sinking the hips down. Arms are reaching. Far behind you, far in front of you, your gaze is over your right palm. Your belly and your ribs are in. Sink, inhale, and exhale. Letting the shoulders come away from the ears, inhale, and exhale. Flip the front palm, reach forward and reverse. Left hand sliding down the leg, sinking down into the front knee. Keeping that right knee opening up to the right side of your mat. Really reaching with that right hand, opening through the right side body. Inhale. And exhale, warrior two. Triangle pose. So straighten through that right leg. Walk that back foot in a couple of inches if that feels comfortable for your body. Inhale. And start to reach. Reach, 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 reach with that right hand. Nice and spacious on the right side. Right hand reaches for the ankle, left arm for the step. And take your gaze down, up, or straight ahead, depending on how your neck feels. Feel your right thigh rotating out to the right. Pressing down into the mat with the feet, really rooted into the earth here. And then energetically squeeze the feet towards each other. Roll the left shoulder back, inhale, and exhale. 
from me here. Look down at your right foot. Take both hands to frame that right foot. Inhale, runner's lunge. And as you exhale, return into a standing split. Left foot high, head is low. Inhale here. And as you exhale, left foot meets right top of mat. Half lift, fingers against the shins, long spine. Exhale and fold. Next inhale, chair pose, bringing the hips low and the arms by the ears. Again, sinking the hips down, really lifting the toes of your feet to send the weight into your heels. Sink the hips lower, pull your belly in. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale into a half lift. From here, the right foot steps midway down your mat. Feet are about three feet apart. So as you inhale, again, find blocks if you need them. Straighten through the left leg, half lift, inhale. And exhale, fold over that left leg. Inhale, a half lift. And exhale again. Inhale one more time, and exhale. Inhale, half lift, shifting the weight into that left foot, standing split. The right foot is going high, your head is low, really feeling the roots of the left foot down into the center of the earth, walking your hands towards that left foot, and maybe holding on to the ankle with one or both hands. Breathing here, lifting the right foot high, breathing through the left foot, belly in towards your spine. One more breath, inhale, and exhale, releasing hold of your ankle if you have it. Take the right foot to the very back of your mat. Setting yourself up, coming on up into high lunge. Inhale, reach. And exhale, warrior two. Repositioning the feet. Front knee again over the ankle. We want the knee moving towards the pinky so tight side of your foot. Arms reaching forward and back. Shoulders over hips. Breathing here. Gazes forward. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, and exhale. As you inhale, reach forward with that left hand, right hand sliding down the leg, reverse, taking your gaze to the right foot or the left hand, sinking that left knee down, opening that left side body. Inhale, exhale, return, warrior two. Straightening that left leg, walking that right foot in. As you inhale, tuck the left hip under the body, reach forward. Exhale, triangle pose, left hand down, right arm high. And inhale, rolling that left shoulder forward, that left rib towards the sky. Reach up with that right hand, roll that right shoulder back. Squeezing through the glutes. Inhale, and exhale. From here, looking down at that left foot, both hands frame the left foot. Pivot on the ball of the back foot, inhale. Exhale, shift back into your standing split. Inhale, and exhale. Right foot meets left top of mat. Inhale into chair pose. Arms reach by your ears, sink the hips down. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale into your half lift. Shift the weight into the right foot as you lift that left foot back up to the sky. Let the head go long down towards the earth. Start to open the hip to the left again and bend that left knee. 
So you can stay here, or if you want more, you can take your right hand and find your left foot. And hold on to the foot, kicking into the hand. One more breath. And exhale. Right hand will return to the earth. Crawl your right hand forward just a couple inches so you can move into half moon. Right hand underneath the shoulder. Left leg extends behind you, hips open to the left, left arm reaching high. So you need a strong right leg, right toes pointing forward. Left foot is flexed, reaching, reaching. And as you exhale, bend the right knee, left foot back of mat, warrior two. <laughs> Flip the front palm in reverse. And hands frame that right foot. Let's do a vinyasa. Step back to the back of your mat for plank pose. Moving into chaturanga and up dog, or exhale, knees to the mat, chest and chin between the hands, elbows back. Inhale, baby cobra, press to the tops of the feet. Exhale into your down dog. Don't forget to take a break anytime. If you're in down dog, start to find your breath again. Letting fingers, all 10 fingers, grip the mat. Rotating your triceps towards your ears so your shoulder blades are moving slightly apart. Belly is in. Take an inhale and then an exhale. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Hips down, arms high. Sinking down, sinking down. Arms by the ears, tall spine, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into a half lift. Sweep that right foot to the sky, returning towards a standing split. Open the hip to the right, bend the right knee. Stay here or take that left hand and find your right foot. If you grab the foot, kick into the hand, open up a little bit further. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. If you have your foot, left hand down. Again, positioning that left hand so that if you crawl your body forward, that left hand will be underneath the left shoulder. And extend the right arm to the sky, and your right leg goes straight. Nice and strong right leg, really. Make that left shoulder twist more towards the sky, your left rib. Inhale. And exhale, slight bend in that left knee, return to warrior two. Flip the front palm. And hands windmill down to the mat, moving into plank pose, hands under shoulders, and then moving through vinyasa, we're taking a break. Remember if you're coming down into baby cobra, try to let your elbows graze your ribs coming into your down dog. Finding your breath. And one more inhale. And exhale. From here, let's lift that right foot to the sky. And we'll step the right foot back between the hands. Take your hands inside the right foot, pivoting towards the left side of your mat, the long side of your mat. Reposition the feet. Toes will either point forward or slightly in. Find a half lift here. Belly in, feel all four points of the feet connected, and then forward fold. 
So your belly is moving in toward your spine. And you can take your hands and either leave them under your face, walk them between your feet, or interlace hands behind your back. Press the palms together, lift the hands towards the sky, look behind you, lift the tailbone, inner thighs moving in towards each other, so the feet are energetically moving in towards each other. One more breath. And as you exhale, release. From here, let's turn the toes out slightly. So 11 o'clock and maybe one o'clock. And then start to bend the right knee. Left leg is straight, left foot is connected. And keep the hips low as you shift over to the other side. Bending the right knee, left leg is straight. And as you inhale, coming to center, keep the hips low, crawl yourself over, moving to the left. And those who want more challenge will take your hands to your heart as you shift the hips left and right. And you keep the hips low. One more to the right. And one more to the left. Hands down to the earth. If they're at your heart, lift the hips. From here, walk your hands to your right foot. Once again, returning that left knee down to the earth. Untuck the toes. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to the earth. Tucking the back toes, lifting the back knee, left hand under the shoulder, right arm reaches to the sky. Strong left leg, left glute is engaged, right arm is high, inhale. And exhale, right hand inside that right foot, pivoting again to the left side of your mat, passing through the middle, inhale here. And exhale and fold. And as you inhale, find a half lift again. We'll pivot hands to the back of the mat. Once again, dropping the back knee, untucking the toes. Pressing through the right foot, lift the arms to the sky. Inhale and reach, lean back a little bit. And exhale, hands down inside that left foot, crawling hands back towards the uh, long side of your mat. And back to the top of your mat. Hands under shoulders, step to plank, and an optional vinyasa here. Dropping the knees, keeping the hips high as you come down for baby cobra. Inhale, arms, I'm sorry, um, baby cobra, and exhale. Into plank pose, stepping that left foot forward between the hands. Left arm reaches for the sky. Yeah, strong right leg, engage that right glute, inhale. And exhale, left hand down, look forward and step forward. Inhale into a half lift, exhale and fold. Chair pose, arms lift. And from here, let's interlace our fingers and extend our index finger long and reach. We'll move into half chair. So as we move to half chair, we're reaching forward with the hands. Our belly is dropping down towards our thighs. Our hips are moving back. Belly is in. Reach forward, sink the hips. And then we'll open the knees slightly and come to sit. All right. Let's extend that left leg forward. Take the sole of the right foot inside that left thigh. Reposition yourself here so you can feel both sit bones right and left. As you lift the arms to the sky, lengthen through the spine. Left leg is strong, your left foot is flexed. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, reach forward for that left foot. Maybe it's not the foot, maybe it's the shin. Maybe it's the knee, whatever you feel comfortable with. And try to keep your lower back flat. So if it means you bend the left knee, bend the left knee. Take an inhale and exhale, forward fold. 
Right knee moving down towards the earth, pressing out through the left heel. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, release the right foot. I'm sorry, left foot. Hands behind you. Take this right knee, cross it over the left knee. So we're working towards stacking the knees here as best you can. We'll take this right foot and tuck it as close to the left hip as possible. So this for some is comfortable, right? We're just gonna stay right here, keeping your spine tall and breathe. If you want more, start to lean your body forward, maybe walking your hands towards that left foot. Inner thighs squeezing in towards each other. This is a deep hip hamstring stretch, so take it easy. And one more breath, inhale. And release. From here, take the right foot, <clears throat> place it on the mat. Left leg is still strong and long. And if you want to, you can tuck that right foot by the, uh, the left foot by the right hip. Otherwise, the right foot stays connected to the mat as your right hand reaches behind you. As you inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, turning your head more towards your right shoulder. Your right shoulder is moving back. Nice tall spine. Inhale again. And exhale, twist a little deeper. From here, gaze over the left shoulder. Hands to the outer left hip, counter twist. And return to center. From here, hips, I'm sorry, feet to the earth. Reverse tabletop, fingers reaching or facing the top of your mat and your hands are behind you. You can do reverse plank here if you'd like. Reverse tabletop, you're pressing down into the mat with the palms and the feet and you're keeping your gaze either forward or if you're not letting your head drop back, take the gaze to the sky, keep pressing through the feet, the inner part of the feet, gauging the back side of your body to lift the front length and through your thigh bones, inhale and exhale, hips down. This time the right foot extends forward, sole of the left foot inside the right thigh. Again, repositioning here, lifting up, making sure you can feel the left sit bone, right leg active and strong. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, forward fold. If you're rounding, try to keep your knee bent, all right? Yeah. Otherwise, your right leg is straight. And you're gazing at the shin or the knee and breathing here. Left knee, pressing it down towards the mat. And one breath. Inhale, exhale, hands crawl back towards your body, okay, left knee over the right, as best you can, right, we're all doing the best we can, right, so stacking the knees, right foot's tucking by, left foot's tucking by the right hip, this feels like a lot for you. Stay right here. Keep the spine tall. Keep the crown of the head lifted and just breathe. Otherwise, walk your hands forward. Maybe taking another half lift and see if you can go a little bit deeper. Inhale. And exhale, hands walk back towards the body. Now your left foot is stepping outside that right knee. If you can see me, yeah. All right, left hand is behind you. Again, sitting up tall here. Right leg is 
strong and active, right foot is flexed, toes towards your knees. Inhale, lift, lengthen, and exhale, twisting. Rooting through the sit bones as you lift and lengthen the crown of the head. And as you exhale, twist a little more to the left, rolling that left shoulder back. Your chin is moving towards your left shoulder. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Hands to the outer right hip to counter twist. And returning back to center. And feet side by side. And we'll do another reverse tabletop. I, re I demonstrated reverse tabletop last time. Reverse plank will be feet, um, legs long. And as you press down and through the palms, lifting the hips, toes are moving towards the floor. Again, very gentle with the neck. Take another breath here, inhale. And exhale, hips come down to the earth. Bringing your feet back towards the body as you bend the knees and laying down on your back. Preparing for bridge pose. So here we want the knees towards the sky and your feet parallel, but about hip distance apart. See if you can graze the back of your heels with your fingertips. And as you're feeling ready, you'll start to connect your feet to the earth, lifting the hips towards the sky, getting long through the thighs, pressing down into the mat with the forearms and the palms, fingers are spread wide, engaging the glutes, letting your chest move towards your chin, Pressing down and holding here. Keep lifting your sternum towards your chin. Knees energetically moving in towards each other. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly bring your spine back to the earth. From here, let's let the um, feet go to the outer edges of the mat and windshield wiper the knees side to side. And then we'll extend that left leg long and bring that right knee into your chest, holding on to the shins, much like we did when we were standing and starting our practice tonight. Knees lifted in. From here, start to press on that shin, the right shin, and lift your shoulder blades off the mat. So it's knee towards your nose, right? This looks familiar, right? We're on our back right now, right? Except our fingers are wrapped around our shin. So lift it in, press the belly down to the mat, and release. Right leg long, left knee in. Left knee into your chest. Right leg is strong. Interlacing hands around that left shin. As you exhale, lifting up, shoulder blades off the mat, belly is engaged. Inhale, and exhale, and release, right leg in. One more time, exhale, lifting shoulder blades off the mat, engaging your core, pressing it down to the mat, and release. One more time, left, press that knee in, lift the shoulder blades off the mat, belly is nice and strong and release. Go ahead and keep that left knee where it's at and we'll twist to the right. So stacking the hips here and letting the shoulders lay on the mat if you can, that left shoulder softening down, taking your gaze to the left palm. And then coming to center, left leg down the mat, right knee in, twisting to the left, right arm extending to the right. Stacking hips. And then coming back to center. Happy baby. So both knees up, both knees opening towards the shoulder, soles of the feet to the sky, holding on to 
your either your outer thighs or the feet rocking side to side. And then knees will come together and wrap your forearms around your shins. Once again, pull your belly in, chin towards your knees, inhale, and exhale, release. Legs long down the mat, palms face the sky. Maybe tuck your shoulder blades in towards each other, take up some space, and start to close your eyes. And as you start to settle into this final pose, scan your body. If you have any tension or anything that's holding on, you can invite it to exhale and release. We'll be here just a couple minutes. Find stillness in the pose. And gently start to bring some movement into your body. Go fingers and toes. And raising arms overhead, inhale. And exhale. Slowly coming to a seat. Eyes closed. Letting the palms come together at the heart. Thumbs press against the heart. Bowing down in gratitude. Whatever comes into your heart that you feel grateful for tonight. Thank you for coming to class. Namaste.